Yo, what's up guys? It is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video. And today we have about seven screenshots from the identity stream and I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. I just know they are new screenshots that nobody has seen. Unless you guys watch the stream and they showed them off in the stream or whatever. But guys, we are so close to getting this video. They did say in a previous, uh, I think it was a dev blog or a stream, I can't remember. They said that and I kind of quote we would be getting a video before this next dev blog and this next dev blog is going to be coming out at the end of August so guys what are you thinking are we gonna see this next dev blog before uh, the or the not the dev blog but the video before the dev, dev blog or are we gonna ever see this dev blog or I don't know is the game a scam who knows who knows uh, Tell me in the comments what you guys think. Um, when do you guys also, when do you guys think the Town Square module is going to be actually coming out? And what are you going to do in the Town Square module? Um, I think I'm just going to go try to meet players and meet people in the identity community and kind of uh, start up my group or gang or corporation or whatever I want to call it. Uh, start that up in the social module and then we can kind of just talk smack to the other uh, gangs and corporations that are out there. I am super, super excited for this game to actually come out, guys. I cannot wait to play it. I'm not going to put any more dates on when this module will come out. Uh, I'm not going to say anything like that anymore because I have been very wrong in the past. But what I will say is we are so close, my fellow human beings, to actually playing the game. And I can't wait. Just look at these screenshots. This is a pretty good shark tooth necklace. We got a tank top from the back side. We also had some guns and a motorbike or a dirt bike in the previous screenshots. And uh, we're gonna see the front side of this tank top here in a few, but the back side looks okay. Of course, guys, these are not like fully rendered player models. They're not like fully like what they are gonna look like. They're just kind of placeholders for the characters and so that they can kind of model the tank top and the different clothing and stuff that actually goes on the player um, because honestly that would cut down a lot of work uh, rather than actually creating a player or something and modeling it straight off of like a, like a straight up like I don't know detailed player and next thing we're gonna get into guys is this game that I actually found I actually did want to play it it's called Secret World Legends and uh, I did want to play the original Secret World but I never got around to doing it but guys this Secret World Legend game, I don't know if it's just because I didn't play the original Secret World, but it's it's probably my favorite MMO that I've played besides Worlds of Drift. And the lore is what really actually pulls you into the game, because for me, lore is a huge thing in games. I want to know the backstory, I want to know the wars and what happened to make the world like it is today. And it's actually a game that is set in a modern day time, and there's stuff like magic, and you can be like a berserker, or a warlock, a mage, you know, blood magic, all this different stuff. And you can actually work for three different groups, which is the Illuminati, the Templars, and the Dragons. The Dragons being a Chinese group or something, I don't really know. They're like uh, the controllers of chaos or something. And then you got the Illuminati. Just, you know, look up any video that has a conspiracy theory type thing in it and you'll know what the Illuminati is. They basically just hide in plain sight and you never know like where they are, when they're listening, and they basically just operate out of little caves. I did actually choose the Illuminati. And then we got the Templars. I guess they're trying to crusade all the monsters, trying to get, get rid of the evil and that's kind of their big focus in the game. And there's actually a ton of lore behind this game, I'm sure you can go look it up, but if you don't then you can actually go in game and find different legend stones and actually you know, read them and see the different lore and piece together the story of how the world became how it is today. And this is a like, I guess remake of the original Secret Worlds game, but it actually did cost money before, but now it's free to play so there's no point in not trying it out. I have like read that they actually just changed the combat and uh, the HUD and stuff like that in different different aspects of the game, but they didn't change the story up that much. So honestly, guys, the intro to this game is pretty cool, and I'm just gonna this is this clip that I'm showing you right now is just some like random clip of me playing, and I have been playing this game for like three or four hours now, and 
I really like it. I, th I think it's pretty cool. So if you guys don't have anything to lose, like don't ha you have a lot of disk space on your computer, just go ahead and pick this one up. I did read that there is like a point of the story where it just gets boring and uh, you'll end up just grinding for your uh, loot and everything. But I don't know. I really like this story so far. It's pretty cool. You go out and you fight monsters and try to solve mysteries. It's what I've looked for in M MMO and uh, I think that it'll be a placeholder until Identity comes out. And you know what? I'm going to stop this video right here. I feel like I'm rambling on too much about this game. I love all you guys. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Make sure you comment all the stuff that I told you in the beginning of the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.